too many pupils leave school without having acquired the basic skills. We know that one of the most significant uh, things about acquiring basic skills is the teacher. And we also know that it is the teacher's way of being a teacher that is significant. My thesis is that some teachers are talented and significant, really good teachers. And that most teachers have the ability and the desire of becoming a really significant, good teacher. So, what characterizes this significant, good teacher's phenomenon? And, and who should we ask? Teachers and researchers have given interesting answers to this question. But as it appears, no one scientifically asked the ones who had the experience with the significant good teachers. So therefore, I'm asking the pupils, or not quite, of ethical reasons, and because that I'm interested in the long-term effects as well. I'm asking former pupils about their childhood experiences with significant good teachers. So, as you can see on the picture here, I'm dealing with the dusty memories here. The 38 respondents that I interviewed twice, they have diverse backgrounds. They are in the age from 22 to 81. So they come from all different kinds of newer school, school history. I'm just finishing this interviewing part of the research process, but already now several matters already stand out of the 76 interviews that I had. Even though that meaning hasn't been generated systematically yet. And one of these aspects that stands out is the phenomenon of relationship. It appears that a teacher's strong relationship with the class as a whole is just as important for the individual child or pupil than a and even more important, actually, it shows, than a teacher's strong relationship with the individual pupil itself. <coughs> the aim of this project is to, 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 to qualify some ethical standards for, uh, for new language and... Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mia.